in the past. Hello there. Welcome to our little trans-dimensional joyride, folks. I'm Dr. Seeker, your friendly controller and a heck of a paleontologist, if I do say so myself. But let's not talk about me, let's talk about you and how you can help me make history today with the time rover. It's like this. If I can bring you back from the Cretaceous period, it stands to reason that I can bring back a live dinosaur with you. And not just any dinosaur. Take a look at this guy. He's an iguana dog. And I'm certain that he has the key to understanding these magnificent creatures. I tagged him with a locator during an unauthorized field trip. Otherwise, I'd be traveling with you. Right now, our diner should be about here, at the very end of the Cretaceous period. That's where you're going today. I've arrived, it seems, just in time to correct a little misstatement. Dr. Marsh. Okay, now, let's go get that diner. These are some of the last known pictures of our dino before he somehow makes the slip out of the Institute. It's about now that Dr. Seeker realizes his dino is roaming the Animal Kingdom Park. Highly concerned, Dr. Seeker hits the park in search of his dino. Looking for help from Scrooge and his nephew, Dr. Seeker explains the situation. Scrooge suggests a visit to Launchpad. Dr. Seeker again explains the situation and asks if Launchpad has seen any dino on any of his flights. Launchpad thinks and they go over and look at his latest missions. In the meantime, the dino is having a great time exploring the park. Looking to get into a little mischief, too. Uh-oh. <coughs> Dr. Seeker has taken to the summit of Mount Everest to continue the search. Of course, the dino, being one step ahead, thinks that he has made an escape. But no worries, Dr. Seeker catches up with our dino. Soon, all is forgiven. and they enjoy the rest of the park together before returning to the Institute.